Uh, my name is Dr. Jeremy Pettis. I'm an assistant professor of medicine and endocrinology at the University of California in San Diego. Type 1 diabetes is a, is a relatively common disease, actually. It's probably the most common chronic disease of childhood. We've known about diabetes for so long, and we've had an explosion of things to kind of help people manage the disease, but we have nothing whatsoever that affects basically the course of the disease. In other words, something that I would place in the category of a cure or something that affects the underlying disease. Type 1 diabetes actually conceptually is a, is a pretty easy to understand disease and that there's these cells in the pancreas called beta cells that make insulin. In a type 1 diabetes, we don't know why, but those cells are attacked and destroyed. So there's this concept that if we could take stem cells and, 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 and kind of guide these stem cells, which can technically become any cell in the body, and tell them, hey look, we want you to become this specific type of pancreatic cell that makes insulin, and we've actually been able to do that. So now we can take these cells and figure out ways to implant them back into people with type 1 diabetes so they can do what a quote-unquote normal person would do normally, which is secrete insulin in response to glucose and things like this. So the person living with type 1 diabetes, if everything went well, could essentially be cured. CIRM really is paving the way for this kind of research. And you know, not only here at UCSD, but getting the other alpha clinics going. So it's really not only creating a team kind of here at our university, but really becoming statewide so we can interact with other researchers, come up with different areas, collaborate together. So it's, it's been extremely important.